example of that is that we have a program called Girls Create and um, that meets on Sundays. And that program, um, we try to do like a wide variety of things. So the girls do yoga, they do writing, they do gardening, they make art. I mean, we try to encourage those young girls to make art and do art-based things in their life um, every day. We support independent arts-based entrepreneurial efforts. So uh, part of our uh, collective is what we do. We run a gallery called Gaia at 27 Hundred Locust. Um, half of our space is a gallery space. The other half is a gallery shop. So, um, I, for example, I started off as a consigner. So we have consigners. Um, we get a small amount of what they make. Um, they get 70%. We get 30. Um, we have folks there that. Um,
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the second point, and all of this stuff is in your zine. The step in is a coloring sheet in your zine. Um, <laughs> the art should be reflective of the culture of the participant. As a black woman artist who is a professional, I've gone to art school. How many times do I have to hear about Renaissance art? What does Renaissance art have to do with my struggle and my life story? And how can I relate those things to practices that will enhance my professional arts career? Not to say that there isn't um, validity in uh, different cultures, but when creating art and understanding a true voice, one must, one must really, really be sensitive to the voice of the artist. How many of us in the room have been artists in art school and you're drawing the picture? You're in figure two. <laughs> you're drawing this great form. And your instructor comes by and says, that line is wrong, wipes it off, and then draws it for you. <laughs> that happens so often in community arts programming, where we're coming into the community, again, with these agendas that we have set, and then telling people to subscribe to what our, our, what our agenda is. We really need to push art in a way that's more inclusive. And by doing that, we um, we literally have to just honor the voices of the folks who participate. Whether it's a three-year-old, whether it's a 73-year-old, uh, you know, you have to really honor their voice. Um, so what was the example for that? Oh, so the example, oh, that means black on the Oh, these are the examples. So um, <laughs> uh, the work being reflective of the, the culture of the participants. So um, at our space, we try to include folks that live in the area, um, and we try to have shows and events that will um, speak to people that live in the area or that will be coming to the event. So we're not really trying to seek out people from um, from like necessarily like the county or like a suburban mindset, but we also encourage that. We're trying to um, reach people that live near our space and that the community that we are working with. So, um, in this case, the artist was from Memphis. And she was really struggling with the idea of uh, what, where her place is <coughs> in American history. So we felt like that would be a good, um, you know, it would be good for us because we share those same struggles in terms of our organization and, and, and as individual artists. You want to hear three? Yes. Um, so <laughs> number, the, the, third, the third point is all work must be created from an anti-racist lens. Um, so, I guess maybe um, we should ask them. Yeah, so that's a good question. How can you uh, do work that comes from an anti-racist lens? What what can you do as an artist or a facilitator um, to make sure that your work is not biased? I think where I'm at right now is just like really doing the inner work and how can I desegregate my life and how have I searched out or not searched out racism as it exists and was handed down to me. You know, I feel like that's primary so that when I reach, I'm actually reaching without any sort of savior complex or without any sort of, you know, clouding that. Yes, I like that term, savior complex. Mm -hmm. Yes. What are you going to say? Uh, listening. Listening. Mm -hmm. Yes, listening. Any other? No? We'll just keep it moving. Okay. Um, <laughs> and there's also, if any of you all are struggling with any of these points, in the zine, we have lists of books that will also help kind of work through some of these ideas. Um, are we on four? Yes, we're on four. Um, did I do these out of, order, out of order? Have we done participants' authentic voice and vision must be honored? Yes. yes. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, the first, no. the second one was the art should be reflected.